So we're going to tie a termination knot here and then put an insulator on. This is going to be a netting fence with a hot wire on the top and just one plain wire on the bottom. Then the termination knot, the tying a knot normally go under, over, under, over. If you wrap your arm round, it helps keep pressure on there. So it's gone under, over, under. Want a nice round part in the knot there so you can take it right under and bring it back. As we're coming over, put your crank in, do a lazy loop, and then do your tight loops. Going around three times in all, the lazy loop is important because it does the holding. To break it, get the going around like the tail rotor on a helicopter, that piece, just start slowly and flick it and you get a nice smooth break and you end up with a good knot. Put the insulator on, needs to come out about 125 from the post, so we'll cut the wire leaving plenty of spear. To gauge where the insulators go so they look nice and even down the post, if you're say doing a five wire electric, if you put your hand there, stick your thumb out and bend it round and if you do that on each wire they all come out the same distance. Slide the insulator on, bring the wire over, slide it along itself and get it so the wire is crossed right in the middle of the insulator. Then with your left hand turn one way and pull down with your right hand. Give it a bend it and bend it back, and now it's pulling off dead center. You want it's important, it's pulling off the middle of the insulator and do six tight wraps. And again, just bring the wire over and get a nice clean break so that. Don't want the insulator too far out from the post. For putting the other wire in, do what we call a Mexican hat. So bend the work with the wire, bend it the way it wants to bend. Measure from about the middle of the hole to the front of the insulator. Put a bend in it there on the corresponding side so you get what we call a Mexican hat. And that makes it easy to get it centered putting this wire in. To hold the wire nice and tight, you can step over it, and put the wire over your foot, and under your foot and lean back. Now that wire is going to cross where we bent it, so it's pulling off the middle, and hold it and do your six tight loops. Putting the second wire on, we do what you call a Mexican hat. So give yourself plenty of wire to work with. Bend the wire round and then measure from about the middle of the hole there to the front of the insulator. Put on there, measure and bend it in front. Bend on the corresponding side. Thread it through and now it's going to cross in the front and it's going to pull off the center of the insulator. To hold the wire tight to make it easy to turn you put your foot a step over the wire, over your foot and under, then you can lean back on your foot, keep that wire tight, and you're ready to go. Put the crank handle in and do your six tight loops. The crank's getting a bit short, just extend it. That way it pulls off the middle of the insulator, so if they're both pulling off the center, it's not twisting the insulator. Mark the gauge on the post. We've act Normally if it's plain wires, you'd come down 50, but because we're putting insulators on here and it's a hot wire on the top, we come down 75 and that leaves your room from the top of your post to fit your post insulators on. Just put skewer staple in there to hold it and check the wires level coming around the post.